and Alchemists, this is Fade Alchemist here, and welcome to another episode of Stoneblock 3. In the previous episode, we resolved our problem with the uh, vaults from Create, substituting out those for a bunch of crystal chests. And now, we have ourselves a nice looking gun. One I'm probably proud of. I did find a few things out here. So, this device here can actually run off of coal, and we have tons of coal blocks here, so that's a good thing. We'll keep this thing fully charged up. While we have the gun mostly enhanced, there is one more enhancement that I could add. And it's the one that lights things up. And if we find it here on our list, it says that it will place torches down. Now, I didn't really necessarily want torches everywhere. Because I think I'd rather use lights and other things, like lanterns and such. But I'm not sure if it actually means literal torches or if it makes its own light source. So we're going to go ahead and build this. Put it in our gun, give it a test. We can start by making a few um, tunnels, see how this thing actually works. Put that in here, we added it in. It should allow me to turn it on and off, I believe. So I have one way to find out. We'll go down our tunnel here, we can get started and we'll see what this gun actually does. I think we'll start here at this wall. We're gonna have it go down for quite a ways. It'll just be kind of a narrowish tunnel. My thought is I want to make a city here, and the first one will kind of be uh, my city. My, like, uh, steampunk uh, city. My uh, medieval steampunk, steam evil city. Steam evil? Yes, that's steam evil, that's the thing now. I guess there's nothing for it but to try. Oh, okay, I see. We're gonna have to be careful here. We need to make sure we're dead center. Ugh, we made a mess. Uh, okay, let, let's do over. We're gonna do a do over here. All right, I have learned I need to be careful. We need to hit center mass so we don't go off course. And it's a little bit uh, harder than it looks because this thing's got a range of 24 blocks. So we'll just keep it perfectly centered. See, I'm beginning to see something here. We got these little blue motes there left behind, and I guess that's our light source. Can these be mined? Or are they there forever? Oh, okay. One shot kill. All right, cool. I guess that's not too bad. So, this was good. We'll leave those up and we'll get this hollowed out. Not really sure what I'm doing just yet. I do know I want a long passage here before it connects to the city. Something else I've done is I've made a nice big grassy area back at our base, and I'm hoping that uh, with us being over here that we'll be far enough away that we might get lucky and have a few more animals spawn in. Uh, right now we only have Cowzone, and he's only in. Hope we can get him a cow mate. <laughs> so I've been at this for a little bit. I developed a little bit of a technique here. I'm going to finish up this row. And then we will turn around, see what we've got. Head back to base. And see if we have any animals inside the little grassy area I made. What I've decided to do is have this be the connection to the first city. And this corridor will be a sewer. And it will lead into the uh, currently existing city. Down here, where I spawned in originally, I'm going to have that be like the old city. It's collapsed, forgotten about. And that's where we kind of salvage our materials in order to build a new city, which uh, is on the other end here. Look at you. Biggin. Look at this. Uh... Got a rare loot crate out of that. All right, well, let's see what this gave us. Block of flint. Perfect. So I've been experimenting, kind of figuring out what I want to do for this uh, tunnel here. And I kind of like how this section looks in the ground. And we can use stairs to kind of round it out. I kind of played with using walls for walls a bit. I was thinking, though... I mean, this is already stone. I kind of want the tunnel to stand out a bit. So I was looking at other things I had as far as resources. 
because I don't want to spend a lot of time grinding. I came across a skystone dust, and these bring us to skystone, which is a pretty block. I, I like it, and we can smelt ugh, smelt these pretty easily here. Oh my goodness. I need to get into Batania so that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, we can bulk smelt that. And then I'm going to bring things with me in compact form so that way we have a lot. And I can start placing those down. Okay, so how does this stuff look? I think... These can be further crafted down into um, stairs. These kind of look funny though. These, these got like green tint in them. Kind of do have green tint in them. Interesting. Let's give them a second smelt. I think we want that to be solid versions. That'll look better. I don't know. Is if the chisel interacts at all with uh, Skystone. But it would make sense that the underground cities of old would have used a different type of rock than this, what was all over the place. Something a bit stronger, something that would resist being eroded by water. We got these, and uh, we also have bricks we can make. Ooh, I think I like those. I think I want bricks. Now, I wonder if we were to um, take out the ground here. That a bit. Okay. Okay. So what do we like better? Do we like... White block? And I'm betting this is your brick? Oh, that's not. How does one make the brick? Oh, you just simply just... Oh. That's an easy conversion. Oh, okay. You can just keep flipping them in there to get the different types. That's neat. Okay. And we'll... Get a bunch of these. See how the dark version looks. You know, I like that. That does look nice. Now, what about... This is like my favorite part here. It's kind of messing with the templates here. Get a little bit more color variety. If I continue to use the normal stone slabs, what do I like better? Just the light, dark. I mean, it's nice to have different colors. But I'm also planning on waterlogging all this. We should probably get started with Batania. I, I, I think I'll want that to make this place look more lush and stuff because, I mean, I'm under thousands of thousands of tons of rock and, and there's nobody here. Um, I'm not going insane from the isolation. No, 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 I'm fine. But I have to admit, ever since Benestick Cumberbranch had his accident, I've been a bit lonely. All right, I know that vertical slabs exist. They're right here. There's a reverse crafting recipe for it, but it doesn't give me a recipe to make the thing. So, I'm going to find it. This elusive vertical slab. Stay hidden from me for long. I do have an alternative plan for it, though. This, this may be a bit of a waste of resources, but I can't think of any other way of doing it. Framed cubes. We'll just make a bunch of them. Framed cubes. Okay. And now if I do this... Ah! Vertical slabs! I can kind of place them along here. And I can put any block I want in there, right? OK, 
Okay, we'll just put in a few random things like that. Okay. I think she's coming together. This was a chore and a half, but whew, this is actually a deceptive amount of sky stone. <laughs> but our machine there is able to turn it cows? Hey! The grassy field thing worked! That's awesome. I guess I was far enough away. Cowzone has some company. Good for him. A little jealous. Okay, so need to convert all of these into just normal bricks. And I did all the hard parts, I did all the mix-ins here. Had to place all these by hand because they're stairs. <laughs> but that's fine. We're still good. We're fine. Let's get our ring back on, our ring back on. There we go. And we can now do this easy mode. Oh. Thank you. It's nice. Those are good mix ins. I like how that looks. <laughs> I love having magic tools. Go. Okay. Blah. I broke my wand. Well, there's not a lot of this left, anyhow, because. Run out. <laughs> Dang. Like I said, a deceptive amount of blocks. At first I wanted these to be slabs, but the only thing I can find is using these framed things. This would be horrendous. I'd have to do these walls like twice, and the second go I'd have to be manual. I'd have to place all these framed panels, which I suppose I could do using my wand, you know. But then I'd have to manually fill each and every one of them with a the block. So at the end of the day, I think it's just better to use solids. But that's going to be a pretty cool sewer. And then I'll need to put water all the way here. I, I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing that because it's going to make running down here difficult. It's so hard, though. Having actual water in your sewer is kind of sweet. This is a very clean sewer, though. But I think that's okay. So... I have discovered some flaws with this machine here, which I'm weirdly happy for. The more things I find wrong with this, the more reasons I have to rebuild it later. If this thing was perfect, it'd feel kind of bad to have to deconstruct it and make it inside the city that we're about to put down there. But um, with the flaws, I... I have reason to. I, I can make this much better. It, th this did its job. It was meant to show me what I needed to do by uh, I basically allowing myself to make mistakes. So, a few things. We've talked about this before. Since we're just letting items free fall into an empty space, which is water, the machine has no concept of when that gets full. So it just keeps on dumping into little balls of lag that end up appearing here that threaten to crash the game. Even worse, they don't actually fall through these chutes to get in here. When I did it before in the previous episode, it looked like it was working, but that's only because I was wearing my magnet ring and I was standing underneath. The magnetization was pulling the items down. They have a tendency, they actually, what they want to do is they want to float on top above these so they never actually made it to the ground, so they don't actually make it to the chute. So if I'm not near it, or if I'm not wearing my magnet ring, it actually doesn't work. So, we will probably do a conveyor belt with water along the side or something, that way it's fully contained, and if it does backlog, the conveyor belt will just, it'll just stop like, uh, like these do here, and, uh, it will prevent it from clogging, I don't have to worry about the whole world exploding. I have so many items, and I don't want to fill up my ME system with them, and I have more than what I need, so I actually had to change my disposal barrel to a smart chute, because they can drop full stacks at a time. And that's important because... I basically have to empty out these whole things. 
and just destroy all the items so I don't end up destroying the server and at least this way I don't have to wait for this thing to destroy them all this feels so bad because I spent all of last episode trying to figure out how to get a storage system that doesn't bleed all my items and here I am just tossing them into the lava Put a warning on this episode. This is gonna give somebody an aneurysm. <laughs> That's too much lapis. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to build with lapis to justify all this. I mean, the system is working a bit too well. Oh, by the way, first of all, this moment is brought to you by Wolfram and B. Sassy Rogue, Sassy Syndicate. We put the bee in business. Also, this thing tried to kill me. I had this thing running. These little pony fingers went blah, 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 blah. We have these open hoppers. This freaking bee starts to drop chance cubes in here. They fly in here. And they get poof, put on top of here. And... <sighs> if I didn't catch it, I had one that was a fist before it was replaced as this. And it would have just punch that block till it broke and it just would have automatically opened the chance cubes right in my base you are trying to destroy me you're a, you're cute but he's be you're the most dangerous thing in this world you'll see why i don't mind clearing all this out here because this thing mm. just makes stuff ridiculously fast and uh, once it gets the wash backlog here through, yeah, here they come. So what we're looking for is the sky stone, all this stuff back. And I cleared it out earlier, so. Okay. So now. Be able to do that, okay. That bee's still dropping stuff? He's been dropping stuff for days. throws them on my conveyor belts, he clogs up my machines. You just a forever be? Yeah, I have a new friend! Okay, I guess he's not leaving ever. That's fine. Just don't drop chance cubes in my hoppers, please. Psychopathic bee? <laughs> Ugh. Double cook this. Right. So, plans for the city. I do like my idea of a steam evil city. I like this being the sewer to connect it. And, oh, I guess I picked some of those up early, but that's okay. This should be enough to finish what we're working on here. We finish walls hey so th this this one will represent kind of like my my place because you know I'm going to have like my house uh, like a nice place to live and uh, tons of other houses because other people live there I'm not alone I'm fine I'm going to make it look like it's got green stuff too because I'm tired of all this stone. I mean, I'm, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I'm not feeling it. I'm fine. But I, I, I'm going to have lots of people. And, and, and I'm going to make, make like, like attractions and movie theaters and things. And a mall maybe. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be alone. There's going to be lots of people living in this city. Not, not in my head. I mean, we, we already got lots of people here. We have Forever B. We got uh, Benestick Cumberbranch. Um, well... He's still not doing so well. He kind of, but um, we Cowzone, Cowzone's here. Cowzone, Cowzone. Oh yeah, Cowzone's fine. Okay, and of course we got the the Jimothy tribe over there inside the box. So we're we're fine. You know, it's kind of getting crowded actually. If anything, really, yeah, not. It's good. Okay, so we need lots of those. Here we plop. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> magic. Oh, magic is awesome. It can do everything except provide companionship. There we go. Wonderful. Now all I have to do is wet the tunnel. <laughs> Might have to put a, a boat down here to surf the sewer. I'll say this. This is a very clean looking sewer. Oh, but it looks cool. <laughs> I do think the Mr. Clean sparkles are a bit over the top, though. <laughs> it kind of gives it a magical vibe, but... This is a sewer? I don't think it's supposed to be a magic sewer. <laughs> um, this could be good vibe for another place, but I was thinking, oh, I can pop out a block here and maybe pop out this block here, put in a light of some kind, maybe a sea lantern, and put maybe like a uh, bars, put bars there every so often. Could look cool. I, I have another idea as well. I don't know if this will work, but if I want this to look more sewer-like, there's um, other fluids in the pack, and I was thinking, you know, it's a sewer, chocolate. Um, <laughs> and we could, you know, I don't know if you can chocolate log blocks, like you can waterlog them, make it look more like a sewer. <laughs> Just the thought. Rogues and Alchemists, we're going to call that in episode four today. We made a nice Mr. Clean sewer tunnel here. Next time, we'll work on the city itself. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stoneblock 3. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.